The fan said this phone had been repaired before, but the issue of the phone overheating and Wi-Fi not working has always been there. However, starting this year, this chip can now be replaced individually. We've bound a brand new chip to this iPhone 14. Next, we'll remove the motherboard. Quick question, what phone are you using to watch this video? Removing the front camera and face ID module, removing the earpiece, opening up the motherboard. Let's take a look at the motherboard. After disconnecting the display, touch, and sensor flex cables, we can remove the board. We see some solder flux on the board, which shows the board was indeed split previously. Quick question, when did you buy your first phone? We place the motherboard on the heating station. We separate the top and bottom layers of the board. After separating, we check the chip under the A15. There's a red marking. This is where the baseband and Wi-Fi chips are. Do you know why there's a red mark? We heat the board, remove the Wi-Fi chip, remove the damaged chip, apply flux to the chip pads, flatten and clean the pads. Now we write data and bind it to the new Wi-Fi chip, add solder balls to the upper left corner. If you like this video, please send me a gift in the comments, install the new Wi-Fi chip. After the chip is installed, clean the top and bottom layers, apply thermal paste to the A15 CPU. Align and press the layers back together. After reassembly, apply new foam and stickers. Beautify the phone's motherboard. Some people quietly watch videos, but they secretly like, comment, share, repost, and follow. Those people are so adorable. After beautifying, reinstall the motherboard. Clean off residual glue around the phone's frame. Clean the residual glue off the back glass. Apply a new waterproof adhesive. Install the back glass. Some people quietly watch videos, but they secretly like, comment, Share, repost, and follow those people are so adorable. Put the phone in. The high pressing tool for sealing, after pressing is complete, install the last two screws at the bottom, then we power it on, after booting up, enter the password. Let's enter asterisk hashtag 069 hashtag, the IMEI shows up, so baseband is working, Wi-Fi can also be turned on normally, and the connection is very stable. Now that the Wi-Fi chip can be replaced, think of how many secondhand phones can be saved, so be cautious when buying secondhand phones.